My name is Gilbert Salcedo, West Covina, California, and I'm on Prince Edward Island to do battle with a giant, a giant bluefin tuna. The tuna knows we got it. <laughs> I think if you're looking for the fish of a lifetime, I, and that and that's really a subjective thing. I think for some people it may be a 10-pound rainbow trout. I think for other people, you know, it might be that 40-pound muskie. But if you're a saltwater fisherman, I think that really boils down to a couple, three things. Your fish of a lifetime is probably a big yellow fin tuna. It's gonna be a giant marlin, or it's gonna be the giant bluefin. And if you're looking for giant bluefin, this is where they live. I've been a member of uh, Bloody Decks for roughly about a year. Popped up, you know, race to PEI, year two, enter. First couple of times I said, ah, what the, nah, not, not for me. Third time I said, what the heck, what do I got to lose? And entered it and never in my wildest dreams that I figured I'd win and here I am. Pick some unsuspecting sucker, you know? You get a guy like Gilbert, the guy's done the party boat stuff, he's fished all his life, he's done the river stuff. Okay, you, you're a fisherman, there's no question about that, but then you bring one of these guys like Gilbert or Michael here and you watch their head explode I, I don't know how else you could display it. You know, the average fish we're seeing up here is seven, eight, nine hundred pounds. I mean, you're using 80 wides or 130s. 200 pound braided line, top shot of 50 to 75 yards, 200 pound mono, and short floral leader that's maybe 10 feet from there to mustad, 12, 14 outside hook. It's also been a little bit surreal, or quite a bit surreal. It's just, you win, and you, okay, I'm going, I got my flight confirmation. Okay, it's gonna happen. But until you're here, you're on the boat, and you're in that harness, and you got this uh, giant blue fan at the other end of the line. It's hard to describe. <laughs> There's nothing you can do right now. Just let them run. Yeah, save your energy, just let them run. We're gonna use the boat, we're gonna come around on him, you're gonna gain back some line. This is, I mean, if you're a tuna guy, this is it, right? There's no better place to give somebody a bucket list trip to showcase the worst you could do to tackle, the hardest pulling, biggest, baddest fish in the ocean. Who, who wouldn't want to be a part of that? These guys feed you until you are plugged. Unbelievable. Wow. The eyes, steam muscles, scallops, bar clams, lobster rolls. You don't go hungry, that's for sure, you know, and catching one of these fish and coming up. <laughs> Apparently they like us up here in PEI. <laughs> uh, no, I just afraid, I'm afraid if he snaps, he's gonna go right into it, so. Oh, sh We're breaking rods. We gotta switch out the line, get it onto another rod. How long are you going to have it tie that knot? 30 seconds, maybe. Scott, you're tying that pole. That's going down. Okay, cut it. Cut it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Cut. I cut it. Cut. Okay. Cut. Yeah. You're cut. Get out of this, right? Um, yeah, get out of that. Yeah. Oh, shit. And your fish is still on. Almost there. Oh. Tie it on, Hoopa! Nice. Might not be pretty, but it might work. Yeah, it'll work. It's just got tight. Okay. 
Flashing down, then it's on. Imagine how big he is. All the pressure he puts on you, the, the transfer from the rod over the plate, straight to your thighs. Jason asked me if I wanted to hand off, and I'm, I looked at him like, not in your wildest dreams, dude. I will never hand that off. More than to do it on your own. The end is near, but you got to fight through it. It's, uh, it's agonizing, but yes, at the same time, it's a uh, pain you can endure. And if you love fishing, it's a pain you want to endure. Hey guys, Brent Crenshaw here with BDI Doors, and we're up here with Tony Tuna Fishing in Prince Edward Island. Everybody wants to know what we're using to get these things to the boat. They're big fish, some of them upwards of a thousand pounds. So here's the deal. It starts with a great reel and rod. 